The next signals we will discuss are those signals that go from the controller to the computer and the signals that go from the computer to the controller. The 4 to 20 milliamp output signal is internally converted to 1 to 5 volts. Pin 18 of the controller is the valve position feedback terminal. The computer senses the voltage present at pin 18 through TB431, terminal 4D, TB411, terminal 25B, and computer frame 23, location C, terminal 49 plus. This is frame 23. This is location A. Location C. This is frame 23, location C. Here is terminal 47 plus. Signal common is routed from controller pin 2 to TB431, terminal 4C. TB411, terminal 25A, to computer frame 23, location C, 49 minus. The status excite line comes from computer frame 21, strip F4, and is common to a group of eight controllers. Status Excite is a positive voltage supplied by the computer to a group of controllers. Status Read goes from pin 20 to computer frame 21, strip F4, terminal 3B. Each DDC controller has its own Status Read line. This is frame 21. Study this drawing of frame 21. See if you can locate strip F4. Here is row F. This is strip F4. This is F4, Terminal 3B. When the Veritrack controller is in computer mode, a contact opens between status excite and status read. The computer senses zero volts and knows the controller is available for DDC control. If the controller is in any mode of control other than computer, the contact closes. The computer senses the status excite voltage. and knows the controller is not available for DDC control. You may recall our previous example used the term DDC enable rather than the term status read. Both the terms mean the same thing. Namely, is the controller available for computer control? Gate 1 signal is a conductor between controller terminal 3, 
TB471, Terminal 4D. And TB482, Terminal 10A. The signal leaves TB482 from Terminal 12A and goes to Computer Frame 21, Strip B2, Terminal 3. Gate 2 line, Control Terminal 24, connects to TB471, Terminal 3D, TB481, Terminal 10B. Out of TB481, from Terminal 12A, and on to Computer Frame 21, Strip B1, Terminal 3. Now work exercise number nine in your workbook. The update line is a signal path to controller terminal seven from TB forty eight five terminal four C. The update signal comes to TB-485, Terminal 7A, from Computer Frame 7, Location G, Terminal 32. The update line is the computer output. It is called other names. The update line is common to all the controllers that the computer services. The update signal is a 1 to 5 volt signal for this particular Veritrack system. Only the controller that has gates 1 and 2 operated will accept the update signal. Only one controller at a time will have both gates operated. For instance, controller A will read the update line only when the two gates are grounded through the computer contacts. If the update line is 1 volt or 0% computer output and both controller gates operate, the controller will read the update line and produce an output current directly proportional to the update voltage. If the update line had been 3 volts or 50 percent, the controller would have produced 12 milliamps of output. If the update line had been 5 volts or 100 percent, the controller would have produced 20 milliamps of output. Once again, when the controller is in computer mode, it becomes nothing more than a signal conditioner. It converts the computer output to a current signal. The last signal involved in this loop is the computer fail relay switch. Computer Fail Relay, or CFR25, is used for this loop. If the computer malfunctions for some reason, the relay contacts close and the amber light turns on, informing the operator that the controller is in computer mode but the computer is unavailable. The controller will fall back to some pre-selected mode of control. It may go to manual or last valid computer signal. If desired, the controller can be modified so it fails to the set point and operates on automatic.
Wiring in the control center may vary some for other specific instruments. For example, the computer update signal may be individually connected to each control station instead of one signal being available for all stations. However, the fundamentals we have discussed are applicable to most installations. Suppose you need to find the control center termination for flow transmitter F110 for this particular system. Refer to the location schedule. This point lists the various transmitters and gives control center wiring location for each. Locate F110 on the schedule. The location column shows it to terminate at location 03A4A4A10 TB1. So what does this mean? The first four digits, 03A4, name the cabinet in the control center. This is cubicle 03A4. The identification tag verifies the correct one. The next A4 informs that F110 is located four rows vertically downward in the cubicle racks. This is row one. Row two. Row 3. Note that it is different. And row 4. Next, A10 means F110 is located at the 10th unit horizontally to the right in row 4. So we start here with the count. This is number 1. This is number 10 unit. We are now located at 03, A4, A4, A10. TB1 tells us that F110 input is located on terminal board number 1 of the I to V unit number 10 in row 4. This is TB1 on I to V unit number 1D. If you observe closely, you will see that it is tagged F110. Usually the output wires to the control valve for a given loop are located in the same cubicle as those to the transmitter. There are the output wires for loop F110. Wires for the alarms. Controllers. The computer input and output and other components in a given loop. Can be located in the same manner in which we have located the wires for loop F110. This segment will be concluded with a skills lab. Your instructor will explain differences, if any, between the systems described in this lesson and the systems used at your plant. Your skills lab instructor will also answer any questions that you have regarding this segment. Now work exercise 10 in your workbook.